Now, I don't watch Legends of Tomorrow. I don't watch Flash. I don't watch Supergirl or Krypton. But I do watch Black Lightning, Swamp Thing, Doom Patrol, and Batwoman. I watch those four. And while those are all good shows, I'm sure the other four are good shows too, there's something really interesting when I was watching, especially Swamp Thing, because there's only two episodes in. Now, Batwoman is a known LGBTQ character. But Swamp Thing, not so much. But every single show that I've watched since then have had something unique in common. It's very interesting that the the, the makers, uh, the producers, whatever, want to shoehorn in there uh, a homosexual relationship. In Black Lightning, it's one of his daughters. In Swamp Thing, it's like the first female that she meets that's like a friend. And uh, <laughs> and Batwoman is the main character. and I, Yeah, the main character. And uh, in... And Doom Patrol is to go with the bandages. Uh, so, like, every show has someone who's playing for the same team. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with that one, but I think it's particularly suspicious that every single DC show I've seen, as of recently, has a character that likes to um, kiss themselves. I didn't watch Titans yet. I didn't watch uh, what's one more Star Girl yet. I, I still one episode of Star Girl, but there's nothing suspicious in that one yet. Only one episode. So, what's going on here with all this homosexual shoehorning? I mean, like, it's one thing to be bi or, of course, heterosexual, but like, why all of a sudden every show needs to have some sort of homosexual representation? I don't understand it. Um, I, I, I think every show has like a diverse racial cast. That's fine, whatever. Um, but every single every single show has something along that. Does anybody know if that's like on purpose or it's like a, an accident, just a coincidence?